Hi friends, Allison here dropping in to share with you a clean and simple 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout. It's going to feature lots of journaling, a couple of tips for helping you adhere small elements and possibly even some stamping. So let's dive in. So the, the idea I had for this layout, it's about my dog, was to use paw prints as a border along one side of the layout and you can see that I have the piece of paper that I cut the paw prints from taped to the layout base. I'm just using washi tape to adhere it to the base so it stays put and all those tiny little pieces I wanted to make sure were evenly spaced, it was put on properly and look good <laughs> basically. So a really easy tip if you want to do that in your own crafting is to take the portion that you cut the images from, tape it to your layout base and then glue each of the individual um, pieces in the spots of the negative space that's left on it. And when you're done, you will have a perfectly placed element. I'm also doing the same with the title that I cut as well. So I'm going to tape my paper in place and I'm going to take each of the letters and the words. I just showed you they were still on my cutting mat and fill them up with glue and then stick them in the spots where the letters had been when they were cut. It makes adding straight titles so super simple. And I've known this tip for a while, but haven't actually subscribe to this idea or even followed it until just recently and I don't know why I didn't because it makes life so much simpler <laughs> for reals so I've skipped ahead the title is totally done now it's all glued and put in place and you can see like it's perfect it's totally straight it's where it's supposed to be and it really does make your life a whole lot easier so to dress up the right hand side of the layout where the paw prints are, I'm also adding some hearts and then there's going to be some stars as well, all in the same color scheme that I'm using, which is navy blue, a green and a yellow, and then of course bits of white in there as well. So I'm just adhering the hearts right now. Uh, I'm using foam squares to stick them to the layout base just for a little bit of depth and um, height. And then I think the hearts, some of them are glued, the smaller hearts are glued onto the bigger hearts or near them as well. Uh, so they'll have some dimension too. Actually, the stars may be the ones that are adhered to the heart. Yeah, there we go. Below the title is going to go the picture of my dog, Freddy. One of my dogs, we have two actually in our family, and a cat. And... If you subscribe to my channel and you have followed me for a while, you'll know that we have multiple pets. This is just one of them. So I'm adhering the picture with some foam squares as well. And then I have a little scene that I've created that's going to go sort of beside and below the photo. So I've die cut a dog to represent Freddy, a little dog house, some grass, a tree, and a cute little bird to live in the tree that chirps a little heart for love. All in the same colors. I think it's a super cute little uh, scene. And then the space that is left between the left hand side of the layout and then where the paw prints and hot hearts are on the right hand side is going to go an extensive amount of journaling. There's a lot of space there to fill. I do fill it. Um, but I'm going to skip ahead on that part as well just because it'll be a little exhausting to watch me write everything down even though the video is sped up um, I don't want to bore you <laughs> so I'm still adhering my cute little dog house I popped a heart actually the heart came with the cut file but I put a tiny little dog print paw print inside the heart I toyed around with adding Freddie's name somewhere in there too but that would mean more individual cutting and I would just wasn't feeling up to it so um, I left it at that. The little dog that I cut to represent Freddy because my dog is white I stuck with white and 
um, linen gray. Linen is from close to my heart. And it's a very whitish gray. So it's very close in tone to the white, but just slightly darker. And I thought it would work well for my little white dog. He's a, a Maltese Shih Tzu cross. Um, so that's why he's white. He's got the fluffy tail. And when his hair fur grows out, he's very fluffy to begin with. <laughs> so that dog was perfect for uh, this layout to suit him. I showed you there uh, some puffy dots. They're not enamel dots. They're puffy dots from Jen Hadfield. I got them in one of my um, paper issues kits back when I was ordering them. Uh, they have become very hard to come by since COVID. So I haven't ordered from paper issues, though I love it. And it's very dear to my heart. I will order from them again in the future. I'm just waiting for times to straighten out, I suppose, <laughs> kind of like the rest of us. So that is that. So I used the, I think, one gold puffy dot that I had left to act as um, the, the tags on the collar. Just to add a little bit more detail, I'm adding some close to my heart glitter gems as well to the right hand side of the layout. And then once I've got those down, I actually go ahead and tackle the journaling. I take out my straight edge and a pencil like I always do and mark out lines first and then go back and do all of my journaling. That brings me to the end of this layout process. I hope that the tip that I shared with you today was helpful to you and if you use it please let me know. I think it's awesome and super simple and I hope you find the same. I have some close-ups coming up at the end of this video and I will also have links to all the close to my heart products that I used and maybe if there's any Jad F Jen Hadfield um, dots in paper issues I'll leave the link for that as well. Thanks for joining me I really appreciate you guys and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!